SGC here and we're back for Before and After and this is the third movie of fifth of this year and uh, we're here for Colette. My name is Claudine. I live in Montigny. I shall probably not die there. It's beautiful. We've never had one fly off the shelves like this before. Directed by Wash Westmoreland, uh, who co-directed Still Alice with... Uh, so much I forgot her name. So Jennifer Morrison, no. Right. Juliana Moore. And that, that was interesting. Um, so anyway, so this stars Kira Knightley and Dominic West. I haven't seen West in anything since The Affair, which I only watched two episodes of. Uh, nightly. I haven't seen her since beginning again, so it's been a while, so I caught this. I mean, this came out um, 21st of September, and it's probably going to get a wide release, but I just felt like, want to check this out. I mean, it's based off the Colette French novelist, so it's a biographical drama. And uh, so far, 94% on uh, Rotten Tomatoes, and uh, it's been great stuff, and uh, read reviews where it's just like, everything's been good, and there's a lot packed into this, but it flows really well. And yeah, definitely is a good time for this movie to be out with everything that's happening in the world. But anyways, I look forward to it. Kieran Knightley's performance, Dominic West, and just just how it's gonna flow. Because I mean, I s sort of remember this like this sort of narrative with the whole behind ghostwriter type of revealing herself type of thing. But anyways, look looking forward to it. And uh, third, this. So uh, here we go. This is the before, and this is the after. Holy smokes, guys! Like. Okay, when I first watched Mad Max, that unbelievable, like, like, just pacing and just everything for action was just amazing and just like, oh, gotta breathe, gotta breathe. It's just imagine that feeling that you might probably had, but for a drama and for a biopic, this is it. Colette was superb, superb, magnificent, a masterpiece in terms of just the direction, the, 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 the acting, the cinematography, the pacing, the dialogue. Like, there was nothing that was, like, redundant or, or that I could think of right now that I was like, I did not like that. But, but rather, like, it's just a craft. Like, Wash, Westmoreland, Westmoreland, holy smokes, dude. You're directing the... the this spin you put on this period piece is just amazing in the sense where you took, you know, 1890s to 19, the early 1900, 1900s, and put such a commercial spin on it that if you don't win Oscars, I don't know what's going on. Because you created this vehicle for the actors to just perform so well that they are these characters. I'm hyping the crap out of this movie because this is one movie you need to watch this year. Like, there's so many art period pieces like The Danish Girl or that type of stuff where they deal with a relational stuff and it's just this transformation and everything. And it feels very artsy and it's like slow and it's like methodical and, and it has a craft of its own. But here it's done in a way where where there's comedy and it's like natural and organic build up of relationships. Sure, like characters could have been fleshed out more, but they felt real and as in they were a slice of life. We were going through the vehicle of Dominic West and Kira Knightley, of them just performing splendidly of just their characters where Dominic West plays the dude where he's like, I'm the guy, so I take charge, but you can do all the work, but I get all the benefits. And you, you hate him, he's a bastard, but, but at the same time, it's like, his performance is like, you want him to be on the screen, because he's such, so much charm of, like, the stuff that he does, this is his person. And then with Kira Knightley, of just her transformation of just this, this country girl who becomes much, much more, and she, she becomes someone who knows herself and wants to know, wants to take what she wants, and... And then the people that she meets and the relationships. I love how they they, they portrayed the relationships here. It, it's just so great where it just felt not like, oh, here, we have a gay agenda or look, look, lesbians or whatever. But it just felt way more organic to the story. Because sometimes I feel like those movies feel like it's sort of around that 
like there is no there's no gay agenda but it just feels like look at this look at this thing that we've hyped it up to and and here it's just like it's just this thing that they laughed about and it's just like a normal thing it's weird it's different for the times and all that but they just take it in stride and and i love it because it's not it's not a hidden thing and i think that's the biggest thing where like it's not it's just openly done and i and i love it and i sort of really wish that there was a contemporary film that could pull that off where the, the relationships just feel organic and it's not just like hey we're doing the gay thing we're doing gay cinema that but here like was just wow and i love sort of just just the just everything about it like the pacing is just relentless because in the sense where you, you feel things sort of slow down a bit they already go to the next plot point but it's like an organic thing because things just have to keep going and and when the movie ended you're just like wow the movie ended and it could have been i don't know way much longer and i wouldn't have cared like can we just get an entire auto bio biopic about an entire life like i would sit down and watch that if it's done by the same team of this master class of just cin cinema like like this was just wow i know i'm hyping the crap out of this but but seriously it was done so well these characters are not characters these are people like i watched sisters and brothers and it was a good performance but it's like i felt like you know Joaquin Phoenix is just acting to be that dude, to be, to be, to be that sisters. But here it's just like, no, Kira Knightley is the freaking Colette. Like, like she just felt like it. I think also it's just how they fit into their costumes and their sets. One thing I really noticed that I was trying to pinpoint, like, what makes this movie really different from your typical period pieces, is that they don't do establishing shots as much as other stuff where they try to show you off the landscape of like this CGI like oh old schoolness but rather it's just showing you the times through the people's costumes like what they're wearing or what they're doing like the bike stuff and all that and just and just like the the, the leisure stuff and I think and I think that that's just a really cool technique of just not doing establishing shots because it doesn't take away from the characters those characters are always on the screen and granted they repeat sets like their home and 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 the theater and all that stuff but it's just like wow like i i i want to watch this movie like right away right now because that was that was really great just masterfully done and it's just like producers good job like seriously oscar nominations go galore i recommend this to no end as in you need to see this just to see how it's done and just like just to see how the cinema can be now when you combine period pieces with a commercialized pacing and i think that was the that's the thing i'm trying to i don't know that i'm even saying it right but it just feels like that like the pacing feels like a much more commercialized like anyone who typically don't really care about period movies i am biased already i love costumes and i love the sets they put but there's no sets here but it's fine i love like this the, the atmosphere and vibe and they did them really well and i think but even if you didn't care about these things and and it, and you watch this it's like a great biopic of this woman who's just taking charge of her life and and like i said in the before section like this is such a great time for this movie to show up because it's just like of all the stuff that's happening and it's just like this this is more like yeah we got to take charge and just you know like a woman women got to take charge and all that stuff and it's just like wow empowerment i think like just collect books are probably going to fly off the shelf when this movie sort of hit wide release because it's just like wow and yeah just 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 really wow i'm gonna i'm gonna stop here it's been really long but wow this movie just just in awe of the amazingness anyway this is the before and after of colette Seriously, watch it. And that's it. Out.